They they get wiped out, so this is not just one set of axes. It looks like two and, dare I say it, like the, a third set? Ice 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 has wall. The wall is like the only hope for DK to hold right now, hold right now it feels like, because without the wall of Replica Vacuum, I don't think they can even defend top. It's still 12 seconds on Mushi and 15 on Burning. That's at least a tier 3 tower. Ice 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 gets a perfect vacuum wall impale. It will bring down the Prophet to start things off. Super getting very low himself, but he's going to turn and fight. He's going on to Ice Ice Ice. Great defensive disruption. The Chain Frost not really hitting anything of importance. And DK are holding. Mushi now TP's in. Will bring down Sila to start things off. Lich is possibly next in the firing line. He tries to get onto the high ground with the full start, but won't get a chance to use it. Ice Ice Ice. Hero of the day. And now it's the other way around. Morthling has no buyback. Prophet has no buyback. Lich does have a buyback, but that's a Lich. Your two actual core heroes who are dead, neither has buyback. And I think DK are taking at least one set of Raxes right now. Yeah, they better go quick. 50 seconds for even the uh, Chronosville to try to slow them down if Super so chooses. But a lot of time to work with here, and DK looking to push forward as hard as possible. They Value do leave Necrobook. Uh, Ice 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 behind, though, potentially to defend it out with the benefit of the Ion Shell. So we'll see if DK can get it done here, because this is tournament life for them. It's, they, they seem fall. to be going through. Like, they're going all in. Ice 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 buys a full Necro 3, or, or Necro 2. He has the Necro 3 and 5 gold, and... He could have had buyback, but I think they're just going to go T3 tower into throne. Morthling's dead, 60 seconds. Are they even going to go for the Raxes? Nope, Burning skips it. Onto the throne we go. Some of the Necro books and all in. Illusion Armly. It's a complete zoo of Mirana and Luna illusions combined with the disruption illusions for MMY. Ice 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 is just going to zone heroes out. Buys the Necro 3 from the enemy shop with a Blink Dagger and the T3 towers. T4 towers being focused down. Throne oh, will be next. There's up. still 45 seconds on Morthling. What do you do? Surf mods get used. Chronosphere is the only last hope here. It only catches Burning. Lamb gets the Hex on Fenrir. Impale onto FY. Ice 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 with a great vacuum. And that's FY. BK beat up. He's going to go down to the right click damage. No, he won't. No one right clicks him until Mushi finally does so. The throne's being focused down. DK. They lose four Raxes. They're bouncing back. They're trying to get this throne. They're buying back. They're doing everything they can. They've lost Burning. Ice 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 right clicking. MMY right clicking. Everyone's going for the throne. 200 HP. 100. GG. DK. Somehow. Four racks is down, take game two. That game was clearly beyond my comprehension for the most part, but wow. Somehow DK managed to pull it off. They hold the uh, high ground a couple of times. Oh, it looks, starts to look terrible. They take down a couple of sets of racks, but...